uh, in this example, we're going to look at uh, comparing or creating uh, the norm of this vector f with this inner product, and then the norm of the vector this is really v2, uh, which is g. And we'll look at the distance between them and then determine if the vectors are uh, perpendicular or orthogonal to each other. Okay. All right. So the to determine if the norm of this vector, uh, we're going to take the square root of the interval. And uh, the, the norm is defined from a to b, but we have the specific values for a to b. So that's just from 0 to 1. And f of x is equal to f. So this is going to be x times x dx, which is going to be the interval then from, uh, this is going to be the interval from 0 to 1 of x squared dx. Uh, integrating this, you're going to get a, you're going to add 1 and divide by it, so you're going to get x to the third divided by 3 to evaluate from 0 to 1. So this is just going to give you a value of the square root of 1 over 3. So that's the that's the length of this vector. That's the norm of this vector. Okay. Let's look at the norm of g and um, might have to come a little bit diagonal here. So this is gonna be the same thing, zero to one, except for g is, is equal to x squared. Maybe x squared times x squared dx. Okay. So this is x to the fourth. X to the fourth when I integrate is gonna give me x to the fifth. This is gonna be one fifth x to the fifth divided from zero to one. And then plugging in, uh, you get this is the square root of one fifth. Okay. Uh, so that's the length of this vector. That's the length of that vector. Okay. So now let's compare uh, the distance of these two. So f minus g in this situation is going to give me x minus x squared. So that's the difference. Okay. And now I want to compute the norm of this vector. Okay. So that means I'm going to have uh, the the norm of this vector, uh, well, it means I'm going to dot it with itself, which means that I have the integral from 0 to 1 of x minus x squared times x minus x squared dx. Okay. And then after I do that, I'll take the square root of all of that. Okay. All right. Uh, so if we multiply this out, um, we're going to have an x squared and then a minus x cubed coming from here. And then uh, we're going to have a minus x to the four and then a plus, or sorry, um, a minus x cubed going here. I apologize. And then a plus x to the four. Okay, uh, so these two are like terms. I can combine them if I get that this whole thing is really combining like terms there. The square root of 0 to 1 of x squared minus 2x cubed minus or plus x to the fourth dx. Okay, uh, now we have a bunch of terms just to integrate using the power rule. Um, so this is going to be x cubed divided by 3, divided by 0 to 1, and be minus, I'm going to add 1 to this, this is going to be a 4, and I'm going to divide, this is going to be negative 2 over 4, which is going to give me minus 1 half, so 4, divided by 0 to 1, and then plus, I'm going to add 1 to this, this is 1 fifth, x to the fifth, divided by 0 to 1. So all of these have a 0 in the, in the lower term, so that's going to count in plugging in 1. So this really just becomes 1. Uh, a sum of fractions, one third minus one half plus one fifth. Okay. Um, so getting a common denominator, um, it looks like uh, well, if we just subtract here, this would be a common denominator of six. So this is, this is two and 3, and then a 6, and a 6. So this is 2 minus 3, so this is going to be negative 1, 6, plus 1 fifth. Okay. And then uh, getting a common denominator again, uh, this is going to be a 5 and a 6, or 30. Over 30. It's going to be 5 minus 6, so this is going to be 1 over 30. So that's going to be the result there. And we're going to take a square root of that, and the square root of 
uh, 30 is 6 and 5. So there's no perfect square. So um, this is the result of the distance. OK. And then to check if they're uh, perpendicular, so this is part D. Sorry, part C, not part D. Um, I want to check if they're uh, perpendicular. So I'm going to take the integral, either one of f and g. This is the x times x squared dx. Uh, so this is going to be x cubed dx, which is going to give me uh, 1 x to the fourth evaluated in 0 to 1, uh, which is going to give me a 1 4, which is not equal to 0. So since this is not equal to 0, then uh, these two vectors are not orthogonal. Okay, all right. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.